just, let's try it again. Okay. Je m'appelle Claude. Je t'appelle Mlou. <laughs> Hello Name Nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we're looking to the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking to the first name of Claude. But before we continue, I just want to give a shout out to my Patreon, um, patreon.com forward slash name explain. One dollar a month helps out in a huge, huge way. I'm not aiming towards any specific goals at the moment, like hit an amount before the end of a month or anything like that. Um, if you can support, it would be amazing if you want to. I said one dollar a month. I'm recording this episode a little earlier than normal, so I don't have any new patrons since the last time I did it. But if you've got a patron recently, and I'm not saying your name here, that's why. But thank you very, very much. Thank you. But anyway, on with today's name of Claude, and Claude is a name that is quite literally lame. And I'm not making that up. Claude's meaning, the name Claude, it literally means lame. Lame is a pretty odd word though. While now we see lame as meaning uncool or a bit nerdy or a bit rubbish, that hasn't always been the case. Lame initially meant to be crippled or walk with some sort of disability, and this was especially the case with animals. We don't really hear the word lame all too much these days. The most common place we hear it is with the term a lame duck, meaning something isn't too good, because it's a lame duck is a duck that can't walk too well. But ducks can swim and fly as well, so if there's any animal that's going to be lame, you'd think ducks would be okay with it, but they become the saying. A lame should be. What, what kind of animal is really known for walking? Like a lame caterpillar. They got a lot of legs. Then that wouldn't be bad as well. Patrick, they got loads of legs. Come on now. A lame. Uh, it's only got one leg. Like a lame flamingo. They, I don't know. Think of an animal that would be really bad if it couldn't walk. Tell me down below. So it's pretty likely that the name Claude came from this crippled meaning as opposed to the uncool meaning. But why is that? Being lame and in this sense of being sort of crippled, that's still not the best thing to be known for. How did that become a name of anything, out of anything? How did being lame, being able to walk properly, become a first name? Well, to understand this, we need to look into the forebearer of the name Claude, Claude's great-great-grandpappy grandfather, or maybe just great-grandfather, I don't know, but Claude's predecessor, that being the name Claudius. Yeah, Claude is pretty much just the French form of the name Claudius, and I'm sure you're aware, Claudius is a name of ancient Latin roots, and it's of course most synonymous with Emperor Claudius, the fourth emperor of Rome. Though his full name was, however, and I need to read it off here, it was <clears throat> Tiberius Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. So yeah, Claudius was just one of his names. In fact, Claudius was his nomen. A nomen in Roman names was the heredited part of the name, basically how me and you use uh, last names to this day. Emperor Claudius was part of the Claudia Gens family. They're a really affluent family of ancient Roman past, and they produced a couple other emperors, most noticeably being Emperor Nero, and Nero actually had the name Claudius in his own full name, he just wasn't known by it, unlike our Emperor Claudius who was known by the name. This family name of Claudius is believed to come from the Latin word of Claudus, meaning, well, you guessed it, lame. This is most likely because earlier members of this affluent family had walking difficulties, but from the traditions of this family and from what we know, well, we don't know, there's no actual evidence of there being earlier members of the Claudius family to have walking difficulties to be crippled in any way, shape or form, but this is some really ancient history, you know, this unto itself is ancient history, and the four bells of this ancient history are even further back, so it's one of those things we're not entirely sure about. Some historians believe how the Emperor Claudius himself was actually disabled. There's all kinds of theories out there that range from him having a simple limp to him having cerebral palsy or even Tourette's. It's either a huge coincidence that someone who has a name meaning lame was actually disabled themselves, or that this name has shaped him historians or some belief in what the man was like. So often with Roman history and what we know of it, it, it might not be true all the time. There's the book of History of the Caesars from a Rome's ancient past. I can't remember his exact name. I should know this from AD history, but I don't, because I'm terrible. Uh, that was kind of a history of the Roman emperors that was somewhat contemporary, but a lot of it's not actually really thought to be true. It, it's hard to tell, so maybe because of this name, myths evolved around the man that he was actually disabled. We, we just don't know. Whatever the case, that name of Claudius would go on to become a first name, and then when French would eventually become the language it is today, it would adapt this name of Claudius into just Claude, like we know it today. So yeah, the name Claude does mean lame, I'm afraid. 
but it doesn't mean lame in the way that, well, I'm lame. And this name originates from one of the most powerful and affluent families in Roman history. That's pretty cool unto itself. Honestly, there's really nothing that lame about that. Claude isn't a particularly popular name in the UK or US it seems, but I can gather it's not in the top 1000 names of either of these countries. And I was thinking, maybe it's popular in France, this is a French name after all. And from what little research I did on this name's popularity in French, I did a teeny, teeny, teeny tiny amount of research on this name's popularity in French, because I'm terrible at my job is established. Um, no, from what I could tell, I don't believe this name is actually in the top 1000 names in France either. If my teeny, 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 tiny bit of research I did on this name is incorrect, let me know down below because I thought it would be, but maybe it's not. Though perhaps the most famous Claude actually has it as the second part of his Daryl Barreled first name, that being Jean-Claude Van Damme, the famous actor. And I believe he's actually Belgian, not French, despite this being a French name, of course. Uh, there's a lot of French speaking in Belgium. That's the case unto itself. However, there's also what comes to mind for me is Claude Makalele, a former Chelsea football player. He always had a really fun name, Claude Makalele. I always enjoyed that as a kid. And also in regards to the famous Claude, I'm pretty sure that the main character in GTA 3 is called Claude. I don't think he's even called that in the game. It's just in like other material we find out his name's Claude. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think he even speaks in that game. I should play GTA 3 again. I heard the remakes are pretty rubbish, which is Really unfortunate, because I'd like to play this. The GTA 4 is better. Have I said that in a video before? Yeah, I think I have. GTA 4 is better. Let's go bowling. But anyway, that's more than enough about the name Claude, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Claude? Are you called Claude yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Margaret. Camden Snyder said, My great grandma was originally named Margaret. Her sister, who was two when she was born, couldn't say Margaret though. She said it as Maggot. My great great grandparents changed great grandma's name to Doris real quick, lol. Yeah, like Margaret, it, it, it can be a difficult name to say clearly, especially with the sound awful like Maggot. Maggots aren't nice at all. They're pretty gross little things. So yeah, you don't want your kid being known as Maggot by their sister of all people. Maybe uh, schoolyard bullies would call her Maggot, but not your sister, man. Not your sister. But yeah, good call. Doris is a great name. Maybe we should cover that next time, who knows. Pedro Menchik said, wait, so Pearl, Marge, Rita, Daisy, and Peggy are all the same person? You are darn right they are. So that's like Peggy Schuyler, Marge Simpson. So also in regards to the name Marge, Marge is also a shortening of Margaret. I've mentioned it, wasn't that it was Marjorie, but then Marge is also another shortening of Margaret. That's what I've here too, yeah. But Peggy Schuyler, Marge, Marge Simpson, lovely Rita from the Beatles song, Daisy from uh, Super Mario, Princess Daisy, and Peggy, and Peggy, wait, who said Peggy? Pearl, I don't know, this is getting confusing. They're all the same person. Pearl from Krusty Krabs, Pearl from SpongeBob SquarePants, and Peggy from Hamilton. All the same person. Gosh, I think most other people do another take of that. Not this guy, let's move on. And Tay Ho Han said, the most famous Peggy of them all, Peggy Hill from King of the Hill, Darn tooting. I adore King of the Hill. I can't believe I forgot that one. I was so busy thinking of like, other, like, she just slipped my mind. That's really sad. Oh, Peg Leg. Um, it's a great show. Go watch some King of the Hill if you haven't read it. It's not on Disney Plus over here yet. I'm praying it appears on Disney Plus soon because I need my King of the Hill fix here and I can't go to illegally download it. Not that you should illegally download it. I shouldn't be saying that. Don't illegally download things. All my videos. Oh, if you could put my videos on the torrent website just for the thrill of it, that'd be really appreciated. Thank you. Go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on and the winner of that poll will be covered in the next Fun With First Names video. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it and have a say in what names get explained, please do consider becoming a patron. Like I said guys, $1 a month helps out in a huge, huge way. All those extra goodies and free videos, bonus content, chance they won't get explained. Um, you can talk to me on there, I comment on there, you can message me on there if you want to, if you really want to say some really terrible things to me that you can't say in a public space like a YouTube comment section. You just really mean stuff. If you wanted to do that, Patreon's the place for it because it's all private, you just message me privately on there. If you ever want to send me a death threat, 
that's the place for it. I mean, I didn't care if you give me a dollar a month. Send me death threats. That's great. Thank you. This is really taking a turn. I'm filmed. It's not my normal time. So it all feels a bit out of whack, really. Like, very strange. Just what happens when fun with first names is filmed in the PM, clearly. Gets a bit blue. Anyway, that's clearly more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, my name is Blaine YT. And don't forget to go on the Facebook page, Friends of Name is Blaine. We can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, guys, take care. But before we begin the baby, no, what am I saying here? Quite literally, like almost dropped my little dingle boy. And in Roman, a Noman couple empire is believed to come from. Of course, I wish I got a bit weird at the end there.